Take and forget you. For these guys, it's all about coming together for the love of singing. We are Sound Principal, uh, Barbershop Quartet. As a group of, of singers, we've been around for over 20 years here. Made of golden hair. We get together uh, once a week, generally on Tuesday evenings, and sing for three hours and rehearse. And whenever we're invited out to uh, perform, we go where we're invited. Every February 14th, things get a little busier than normal as the quartet can deliver as many as 40 singing valentines. Hello, Roxanne. To me, I love you so. Tenor Joel Vinji says for the lucky recipients, it's almost always unexpected. It's often a very big surprise. They don't know that it's coming and uh, we show up at their door at their house or their uh, place of work. And that was definitely the case for Roxanne Hughes. Absolute shock and amazement with my husband. You'll be my blushing bride. Normally he gives sends flowers and has a nice card and I did have a nice card this morning but that was about it. We had decided not to do anything crazy for Valentine's Day. Obviously Roxanne's husband didn't follow the plan. Marge? Marge Bossenberry was also caught by surprise receiving her first singing valentine after 41 years of marriage. I do get flowers every year but I didn't expect this. This one topped it. Well, thank you. That's beautiful. <laughs> Husband Don admits that straying from the usual <laughs> while keeping this a secret was a challenge. I didn't rush out this morning and get a get a bouquet or anything because I knew I was doing this and uh, I was hoping it would catch her by surprise. You would think singing every 15 minutes from 8 a.m. to 7 p.m. would be hard on the voice, but these old pros have some tricks up their sleeves. We use a little slippery elm if we need to to uh, keep our voices tuned up. It's a lot of singing, but on the other hand, we don't. We only sing two songs at each location, and there's usually an opportunity to kind of regroup as we drive to the next location. The ultimate question now is, how do you raise the bar next year? He can't. <laughs> Jamaica maybe, but no, that's that's the topper for me. It's a great experience to uh, sing for people and for, for us to sing, it's a great experience as well. All proceeds from the day, some $1,300, went to the Heart and Stroke Foundation. For Go Kootenays in Cranbrook, I'm Blaine Evans.